having a Revit-centric workflow, you have the ability to open up the Revit file that the architect had given you, and you can place your own fixtures in here, and you can also assign them IES files. And so you can see that when I opened up this file, the architect had already placed some of these fixtures, um, but there is not an IES file assigned to them. And so what you can do is go over to your architecture tab and go into component, and you can load in a family. I downloaded this fixture from um, their website, and so this is the fixture that I am choosing. And you can see that I brought it in here. And so the next thing you will do is you can click on your, your fixture and right click, and you will go to select all instances and an entire project. And then you will just edit the type. This is the fixture I downloaded. And so it does rotate the fixtures, but you can just click your space bar to get them back to the original orientation. Cool, and so now they're back at the original uh, place they started at. Uh, you can see this room here doesn't have any fixtures placed in it, but the way you can place them is um, just click on your fixture. You wanna be in component and you'll wanna have it placed on the face of the room. So it's on the ceiling and not on any other surfaces. And it'll just snap to whatever space you want it at. And that's how you can place your own fixtures in Revit. The next step that you can do is you can go into this little house here and you can create a camera view. You can then go over to your teapot here and you can render it. And so you'll want to make sure that you have the interior artificial section clicked only. And then you will click render. You can update your settings here, um, but we're just going to do draft so it goes faster. And here is your rendering. You can see um, your light fixtures are in fact in there. Uh, if you want a high resolution rendering, that's how you will change these aspects here. Um, for other information on exporting this to light stands and actually getting calculations, please reference one of the other videos.